Hi, this is Katie from Lady Red Crafting, and today we're going to do five crafts about lemons. Let's get started with craft number one. For this craft, we're going to use some small wood slices. The pack I have was a variety pack, so they're all different sizes, and I think this works great. And I'm going to take some of my Waverly paint here in the color yellow, and I'm going to paint the tops and the bottoms of these little wood slices. I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to paint the edges around the wood slices as well so that everything is yellow. Once I'm done, I'm going to grab my white Waverly paint and I'm going to just lightly put some paint on there and I'm using a very flat brush and I'm going to just make a quick X or a T on your um, wood slice. I'm going to repeat that step and then it's going to look like a little mini pizza. Once that's done, I'm gonna put a small little line in between each one of those slices, just to kind of make it look like the inside of a lemon. To finish this lemon, I'm going to just do a quick outline in white around the circle. So these lemons are finished now, but if you wanted to take it up a, a level, you could do this optional step. For this optional step, I'm going to be using some Mod Podge and some yellow glitter, but you could use glitter in any color you'd like. And I'm just going to go ahead and add the Mod Podge around the rind of the um, lemon here. The next step here will be to grab our glitter and I'm just going to pour it over the top of this lemon slice. And I'm just going to twist the lemon slice around until I get the glitter all over the rind. Once that is complete, we can set these aside to dry. These lemon slices are great to use in your tiered trays. I'm also going to use them in the next craft. Craft number two. For this craft, we're going to use the tumbling blocks from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to glue three of the blocks together to make a square using wood glue and hot glue. You can make as many as you'd like, but I made four sets in this video. Once these blocks are dry, I'm going to grab my Waverly white paint and I'm going to completely coat both the front and the back side of these squares with that white paint. Once I'm done painting these squares, I set them aside to dry. While they're drying, I'm using my Cricut to make up some cute little stickers to put on these squares. For this easy peasy lemon squeezy sticker, I was able to use the outline of the sticker to put on one and then made two stickers out of one cutout, which was great. When applying the Squeeze the Day sticker, I decided that I wanted to use one of the little lemon slices that we made in our first craft on this little square. So I made sure to align up the sticker to fit the lemon slice. Now you don't need a Cricut to do these signs as well. If you'd like, you could also use the rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree or some stickers. You could also paint on the um, squares or do some stenciling. So now comes the fun part, decorating up these little signs. For the first one, I added a lemon from our first craft. For the second sign here, I had some lemon ribbon and I made a little bow to go on top of the square. And for this last one, I took some of this really cute twine from the Dollar Tree in white and yellow and I made just a quick little bow to attach to our sign. Next, I'm going to grab my Mod Podge and I'm just going to do a light coat over the top of these words just to make sure nothing peels off. Now these signs are all ready to go for your tiered tray. Craft number three. For this craft, I'm using a tag that I got at the Dollar Tree, some cute lemon napkins that I found at Hobby Lobby, and some wood beads. To start, I'm going to flip the tag over to the wood side or the back side of this tag, and I'm going to paint it with some Mod Podge. Then while that is drying, I'm going to grab my napkin and I'm going to peel it apart. And usually these napkins are one or two ply. I believe this one was two ply. Um, I just peeled it into two pieces and I cut a small square off of the napkin. Next, I'm going to take that napkin and put it on top of the tag. I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper down and I'm going to grab my iron and I'm just going to iron that on. Once that's ironed on, I'm going to take off the parchment paper and I'm going to grab my zip sander. 
I don't know if you have one of these zip sanders, but these tools are amazing. It's the best $10 I've ever spent. And I probably overpaid for it because I think I bought it on Amazon instead of at Walmart. But um, I love this thing. Anyway, so I just sand off the uh, napkin until it's nice and smooth and I poke a hole back through the tag. For the next step, I'm going to grab my Mod Podge and I'm going to paint a thin layer over the top of the napkin to seal it in. Once the Mod Podge is dry, I flip the tag over. I'm going to use my stencils from Walmart and I'm going to stencil out the word Lemon Zest. And I'm using a uh, foam brush with my Waverly White paint and I'm just tapping lightly to do the stenciling. Stencils from Walmart are great. They're self-adhesive and they're easy to clean and they're very inexpensive. I think I paid $2.49 for the set and I've reused it many times. Once I finish the lemon zest in the stencil, I go ahead and I just kind of, um, you almost want to snow over the top just to give it a cute little look. And then I decided, mm, don't like this tag anymore. So you can stick with the stencil, but I decided I didn't like it. So I went ahead and I painted it over with white, dried the white paint, and I'm going to go ahead and Mod Podge another napkin onto the other side. The fun thing about this tag though, is because the side is white and the other side was wood, you'll get a different look when you're Mod Podging the napkin on. So when I flip this over, you're kind of see the difference between the lemons on either side. One's more bright and the other one's more opaque. So to finish this tag off, I'm going to add a different tassel to the tag. And I'm using the white and yellow twine that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm making a quick tassel. Um, I don't give really great instructions in this video on how to make a tassel, but you can kind of see I use a board to wrap it around. I then tie a knot at the top and then I'm going to cut the uh, string off and wrap it around. Now that I have my tassel, I'm going to take white rope that I have, and I believe it's macrame rope, and I'm going to attach the tassel to the end of this rope. And I'm going to make sure that the rope is about, I think I had it about 12 or 24 inches just so that I could use it to string some um, beads on top of it as well. So once the tassel's attached, I'm gonna reuse some of the uh, wood beads that came with the tag, but I'm also going to go ahead and add some yellow and green beads that I had from a spring bead mix from the Dollar Tree. So when I restrung these beads onto this small tassel, I didn't want to really add a, the number of beads that were originally on it. I just wanted to change it up to be more with the lemon themed. So I used four of the wood beads, two yellow and two green. And so it was almost the exact same size as it was to begin with. Now that this is attached, this tag is complete. It'll go great with any sort of lemon spring decor. Craft number four. For this craft, we're going to use two round wood slices that are larger. Typically I use these at Christmas time for ornaments but instead this time we're going to make some lemons out of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do a lot like we did with the smaller lemons that we did in craft one, where we paint the whole entire lemon all the way around. When I paint the edges or the rind of this lemon, I don't paint it completely. I let it, I let the wood show through. So I want it to be um, kind of rustic looking. So if you notice, it's not completely solid yellow paint all the way around. Next, I'm gonna take my Waverly White paint and I'm going to use a thin paintbrush. And what we'll do is we're gonna take a, the paint and we're just going to make an X or a T across the circle. So we do that first, and then we're going to go ahead and do that again in the opposite direction. So we're gonna do another T or an X, and it'll make a pizza shape on your um, ornament here. And then I'm going to add a few lines in between the different triangles. Sometimes I add one, sometimes I add two. It just depends on how thin I can get those lines. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's to make your shape look like a lemon. Then we're gonna add the white all the way around the edge of the circle. 
And once that is dry, we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna do that again on the other side. While we have a moment, let me know in the comments below what your favorite craft was from today. Thanks. Now that the lemon pieces are dry, I'm going to take some twine from the Dollar Tree. And I just realized that they had a few different thicknesses of twine at the Dollar Tree. So this is a thinner twine for this um, craft that I am using. And I think I cut about three feet of um, twine so that it was easier to string the beads. Then I go ahead and I grab some of my white beads, some of those yellow beads from that spring mix, and then I had these khaki beads in my bead collection, and I believe I got them for Christmas one year from um, Amazon, and I'll put a link in my description below for those. Once we got those beads onto the garland, we're going to go ahead and tie the other lemon on the other side, and we'll trim up those strings. And then what I like to do, especially with the thinner um, string, is I like to tuck in the, the leftover string into the first one or two beads, just so it looks really nice. And that's it. Our craft is complete. Craft number five. For this last craft, I use a square trivet from the Dollar Tree, those lemon napkins again, and some Mod Posh. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up the little tips that are on the bottom of the trivet use a heat tool or a hair dryer um, and that just softens up the glue and it makes it easier for you to pull the little um, feet off of the top bottom of the trivet. Once you've pulled all these little feet off the bottom of the trivet, set them aside because you're going to reuse them and then I just clean with Windex the bottom of this trivet to make sure it's all nice and pretty. Um, now that that's all nice and clean, we're going to grab our Mod Podge and we're going to do a nice thick layer of Mod Podge on the trivet. And this is the back side of the trivet still, if you're, asked, if you're wondering. And then we're going to let this Mod Podge dry completely. I'll set that aside and I'll grab my napkin and I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the bottom layer off of the napkin. And then what you'll see me doing here is I'm actually flipping the napkin over and using a piece of parchment paper and my iron and I'm going to try to take out any of the creases that are in the napkin because my square in the napkin is smaller than the trivet and I want to make sure that there's no creases showing in my trivet. So I ironed my napkin first and then now we're going to lay this on the bottom of the trivet on top of the glue and we're going to lay it upside down so that the pretty side is going to show on the front side of the trivet. And then I'm using my parchment paper again and my iron and I'm just going to iron that on so it will stick. Next I'm going to grab my zip sander and I'm going to zip sand the edges of the trivet and this will just give a nice clean edge to take off the rest of the napkin that we're not using. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the Mod Podge again. And we're going to just do a quick coat over the top of the napkin. If you're still watching and you like what you're seeing, please hit a thumbs up down below. Thank you. Now we're going to reattach the feet to the bottom of our trivet. Um, the glue is still a little bit sticky on the bottom side of these, but I just use a little bit of extra hot glue to make sure that it doesn't fall off. So we're just going to add those into each corner and voila! we have a beautiful lemon trivet that you can set out for the spring. Thank you for watching. Here's a sneak peek of my tiered tray with the first four crafts on the tray. I hope we inspired you to make something new and have a wonderful day.